Let's get started. All right, let's do this. All right, we're ready. Hi, welcome Hi. to What's Up at the Library. I am so excited. I do this a lot, but it's okay because I'm so excited. I'm Terry Ray. I am the interim director at the library. This is my friend Hi. Susan. Yes, Susan. I'm the children's librarian. Yes. Yes. So, and it's so exciting. We've had such a fun morning already we this have. morning. There's other stuff that I want to talk about, but I want to talk about this first. I have my little elf hat with my ears on. Yes. Who did we have in the library this morning? Oh, my gosh. The man from the North Pole. The name on everybody's lips this month. We had Santa at the library this morning. We also had a gingerbread boy. We had Mrs. Claus, too. Mrs. Mrs. Claus. Claus made yeah, a trip. She was there. With Santa to come yeah. to the library today. And we had oh, the Grinch. The Grinch. Stop by. But I think okay. our hearts were all too big. So the Grinch had to leave a little bit early, I think. Yeah. I think he was afraid his heart was growing a little bit. Yeah, there was there was so much good feeling and joy and happiness in the library this morning that the Grinch was kind of like, mm. Yeah. So just to wrap it all up, we had Santa. We had kids getting to see Santa. We had Santa letter writing for kids. Yep. We had reindeer food to be put together with some magic sprinkle dust to get put out with it on Christmas Eve night. We had cookie decorating. We had a Grinch floor puzzle. The Grinch really liked that. He didn't want to admit oh, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we had other learning activities. We had a craft going and we had so much fun this morning. I can't believe how much we packed into two hours it was so much fun but it was like we were we were just talking about this it wasn't yeah. like the high pressure like I remember as a kid you know mm -hmm. like there's this big long line and you get in this line and then you you're plopped up on Santa's lap ready or not here you go and now you have to fight figure out you know what right. am I gonna say and you know you feel like the kid in that movie the the Christmas movie where like he just forgets what he wants and he's just like a football I don't know uh, but yeah. it wasn't what he wanted but you know like his brain yeah. I tell you what Santa was so amazing this morning with all the kids and it was so much fun um, and it was it was a really relaxed atmosphere and maybe just a little bit quieter than a huge mall with hundreds of people shopping and so Santa just didn't sit in his chair you know he was able to go and see what the children were doing at the craft area and he was able to go see what they were decorating on their cookies yeah. and and you know what the kids who were a little bit nervous had some time to warm up That's so and great. know that oh no I really do want to talk to Santa yeah so it was a lot of fun we had yeah. pictures with Santa we do have pictures yes uh, and we will print those so people parents, left yes. with a picture yes with Santa and totally free yeah. just bring your kiddos some of them were so dressed up oh my god they were, they were so, so cute. cute they were so cute so parents yeah. of course can bring your own camera phone and you can take pictures as many but as if, you want yes but if you would like for us to take a picture and print it out for you like actual a picture in your hand which is so cool to me like I remember they all used to be like that Polaroids um, yeah I mean and it's fun to be able to flip through your phone you know and yes. but there's there's something cool about an actual picture that you get to hold um, and so yes. yeah that's that was super awesome and the super super exciting news super super double super triple super it's so actually. cool Santa will be back he will be back that's why we're talking about yes. it is yes is because if you missed out today you have another chance yes. and Santa will be back on Monday the December 20th. 20th 20th kids are out of school right so so school-aged kids or kids who go to brick-and-mortar schools or anybody who missed it today yeah can come to the library on the 20th and we will have activities to do which means you're not waiting in a big long line because there's right. things to do there's other things happening and yeah. going on yeah absolutely so we'll do it for a couple so hours 9 30 again 9 30 to 11 30 we'll again have, on we'll have Monday Santa. December 20th yeah so you don't want to miss out it was so much fun it today was so much fun yeah I got my picture taken with Santa did you really I did too with the with mrs. Claus and there was buddy the elf was there too I forgot to mention was buddy. It buddy the elf or was it the elf on the shelf oh you're right I think, I think it was, it was elf, elf on, on the, the shelf. shelf you're right yeah. I'm so sorry but elf I'm on hoping the shelf. I'm hoping that buddy can be there the next time because okay people love buddy the elf I know they do they do love buddy the elf we all identify with his breakfast of sugar cereal sugar and honey and you know okay. you know how he goes through all that sugar candy coated canes. sugar yeah, yeah yeah just you know candy corn bring candy canes the, candy, bring, candy yes, yes. yes. Bring so. us the candy. 
We love Buddy. Yeah, we do love Buddy. All right, but that's not all going on. No, but we also do have Elf on the Shelf. Oh, my gosh. Yes. I'm so excited about the Elves on the Shelves. This is our second year that we've done Elves. Mm -hmm. So tell me what the deal is with the Elves this year. Well, you know, we've got three Elves in the library, and they come out in December. We've got Spencer, and we have Hermie, and we have Arietti. And these Elves... They just love to get up to shenanigans at night when we are not in the library. So they're never where we left them to put them to bed when we leave at night. Right. They're always somewhere in the library. And we have children who come in who are fabulous at finding things. They have played I Spy before. And they have found these elves reading Christmas books. They have found them, um, uh, oh, trying to make our craft Christmas trees. I mean, these elves get up to all sorts of fun and shenanigans. And when the kids find them, when they find the elves, they can bring them to me or to the circulation desk. And we have presents wrapped under the tree that Santa brought for us to give out to children who help us find the elves every day. And these are perfect library presents because they are? Well, the good, ones under a, the tree. Authority has it that they are books. Books. Like all the way from board books and some picture books, all the way to leveled readers, all the way up into easy chapter books. So yeah, there are a lot of books under the tree right now. Yeah, so there's a variety of books. You won't know which one because they are wrapped. Correct. But there's books underneath the tree that you can pick a gift when you find the elf. That's right. I love this. It's super, yeah. super fun. Yeah. Um, well, let's see. What else do we have going on? We have some We have some adulty stuff, but it's yeah. it's adulty, but it, that doesn't mean it's not fun. Right? I'm super excited about, um, these, are, these happen to be kids' books from the kids' sections, mm -hmm. about the stars in the night sky. Yes. Because we have stargazing Eyes coming up. Coming up. It's going to be super fun. That is next Friday on the 17th. Okay. It's like 6 o'clock. Is it 6 o'clock? 6 o'clock in the park. Okay. Um, stargazing. It'll be. Which park? I knew you would ask me that. Meadow Lake? Does it say? Last time it was Government at Meadow Springs? Lake. Crossland Park. Crossland Park. That it, makes sense. A little north of town. Right. So it, yeah, there'll be less light Less pollution. light from the. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Joe Milan will be t here to help us. Oh, we'll have wonderful. telescopes. It'll be super fun. It'll be already getting dark by 6 o'clock. So. so it's a field trip. It's yeah. a library field trip. It's a library field trip. We're Meet us that. out there. We're going to have a great time. It's going to be so much fun. Yes. Tomorrow. Friends Tomorrow, of the library. So much fun. Friends of the library. I'm super excited. I brought one of the books for These us. These are amazing. Yeah, I, right? This, I, I mean, this is a book know. that, that um, one of our librarians folded. Um, book so, folding. Yes, book folding. This one is beautiful here. If um, There we go. Like, there There's we a go. focus. This one it's is a from, Hogwarts. It's a Hogwarts honor student, right? Like, oh, my it, This word. one is so intricate. There are going to be many of them available for sale tomorrow. I'm mm -hmm. going to show up myself about 10 o'clock when it starts to do some of my Christmas shopping yes. with these books. I tell um, you what, and what an incredible, creative, fun gift. Right. So, yeah. shopping. There will be other people selling crafts tomorrow, I understand. Is um, that correct? Baking? I don't know that we got very many other crafters, which okay. is fine. Um, there's plenty. There's great places around town to find for local sure. crafts. Um, there's a lot of them, so check those out for sure. Um, but we will have authors, Oklahoma authors. Okay. Um, which I get super excited about because I love to meet authors and purchase their books and then have them sign the book. Yes. Uh, I love that so much. <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, that's going to be super fun. That's tomorrow. Yes. Saturday the 11th from mm -hmm. 10 to 2. 10 to 2. 10 to 2. That's a fundraiser for the Friends of the Library. Yes. Which is a great organization. It's our friends. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't want more friends? Um, but the Friends of the Library do things like raise money and raise awareness. They help advocate for libraries, which can be as simple as... Oh my gosh, I had so much fun at the library the other day. You should come down to the library. Like, that's yeah. advocating for the library. Yeah. Um, so, Friends of the Library is super easy to join and be part of. And they do great yes. things for us, like do some fundraisers. Yeah. Um, yeah, so super. You know, fun. speaking of, just thinking yes. about our libraries and how great it is to be a friend of the library, 
I had a conversation this morning with a grandma who was visiting her grandchildren mm -hmm. from Connecticut. And she was so excited to be in Enid visiting her grandkids. Um, and we got to talking and she said, I'm just amazed at what all is available here at the library. She so said, I hear. love what you all are it's doing. So and she hear. said, and she said, you know, do you have to pay to get a library card here? Because in Connecticut, they cost a hundred or a couple hundred dollars. Oh my. No, and I no, said, no. no, I said, you know, we believe that uh, information and access to information, access to knowledge, access Absolutely. to books should be. Uh, should be free. And that should be something available to everyone, no matter what your socioeconomic circumstances are. And so she was just floored and she goes, well, how how do you pay for all of this? Because if all all these things are free, and I've had another I had another uh, young couple mm -hmm. in the other yeah. day saying, are, "Are you sure I don't have to pay to do this craft?" No, it's free. So these are things, friends of the library. That is one of the ways they help us. And, that is one of the ways they um, help us. And it's important. It helps our community and it enriches our community to have a strong library that yeah. is available to everybody. Yeah. Um, and I think too that we're incredibly fortunate here um, because the library is part of the city yes. and the city does so much to help Definitely. make sure that our library is phenomenal. It's a it wonderful library. I love it when people come from out of town or out of state and go, your library has so much. It's so great that it, yes, I like, yes. I want to keep being that place that exceeds expectations yes. of what a library can be, and it can be so much. Yeah. Um, so, um, okay, so I kind of derailed yeah, that there, kinda, I'm so but, sorry. But no, that's okay, it's but such an important I thought it was important. Thought. It is an important thought. Um, along the lines of libraries being so much more than they used to be, yeah. um, we have a, a cool class coming up um, oh. that maybe it is maybe not giddy, 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 kind of fun, but super important, Okay. resume writing. Oh gosh! Yeah. Right. I mean, like every time you go to put your resume back together, that's like anxious when right? you just even think about it because it's like, what? How? What are the rules now in style? Right. Well, how have they changed since I did a resume the last time? Right. You know. Yeah. And some of us did our first resume on a typewriter. Oh, for know. sure, I did. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And so and like, we just aged ourselves, didn't we? A little bit. Little yeah. Bit. Oh, that's well. okay. That's okay. <laughs> but you know, I mean, now like you get out, you know. Microsoft Word or Google Docs, and there's all these formatting things. And how do you do that? And what are people looking for? And is there really a one page rule? And what does that mean? And yeah. so we're going to have a resume writing class, mm -hmm. which is super cool to me. It's at four o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. Um, so f hopefully, lots of folks will be able to come at that time. Um, if you can't come at that time, but you're super interested, let us know because that's important information we get to be able to figure out when we should be doing these sorts of workshops. Right. Yeah. But that one, the resume one, is on the 16th at four o'clock. Okay. So that's gonna be super Very important cool. life skill. Yeah, it is. And, really. Um, and not just for, uh, like I'm, I'm newly entering the job field mm -hmm. or you know, like I'm switching careers or everybody that I know when it t comes time to, I need to update my resume has this thought of, Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh no. How do I like, <laughs> what do I do? What do I, so I think it's a great class and it is a folks should class. come if they're interested in that. And we'll talk about writing mm -hmm. resumes and how to do it and get a little hands-on practice. So All right. that will be super cool. Lots of fun stuff happening at the library. Yes. I'm super excited. Yes. I love this season. I know this season is a lot of fun. We had a huge amount of fun last night. We oh, played yes, the Singo. We played Singo. And if you don't know Singo, Singo is simply bingo, except we're using songs. You do not have to sing. Although people it's, were having so much fun last night that they were singing. It's really hard not to. So like when, I know. when Jingle Bells comes on, it's really hard not to sing yeah. along. So know, yeah, we were we were playing bingo singo and we would play just a tiny snippet of a song and we'd see who knew it and they'd shout out the name and if you had the title of that song on your singo card you had put a little m m on it and we played for fabulous gift cards from around town and fabulous. it was so much fun and people were 
dancing. They were, I, I, I was dancing, I'm not well, gonna lie. Well, you know, I mean, um, as and, you do. But yeah, and people were just having a great time singing and just enjoying. We had cider and hot cocoa and just a relaxing time to enjoy. It's a way to go caroling without caroling, you know, yeah. like going around to knock yeah. on doors of people you don't know. Yeah. Uh, but we not, just kind of had a little sing-along last night playing bingo for gift cards and we had a ball. And it sounds so like it was fun. real collaborative, like nobody was trying to be super oh, secretive no. and not tell you what that <laughs> song, I'm like, community building. Like, oh no, this it was, was a shout fun. out the answer that's, as soon as you that's know. <laughs> great. Oh my gosh, so fun. much fun. And we had five-year-olds all the way through probably 60 something I don't oh, know I, I don't want to age anybody I love those cross-generational things where we get to spend it's time fun. with you know lots of different people yes you know so I think that's so, I think but that's we're gonna do it again that's the point of saying oh, all we're that. Gonna do we had again. so much fun yes we had so much fun we are going to do it Wednesday the 22nd I believe awesome can you look at that on the calendar real quick at two o'clock in the afternoon? It does say holiday single. I was worried about whether or not I had the right printed yes. calendar. Yes. Because we've added some stuff since I got my copy mm -hmm. of the printed calendar, yes. which is a wonderful opportunity for me, I think, to tell you. You can get the latest and greatest calendar mm -hmm. online at yes. the library's website. Um, and we'll put a little link here or we'll... Mm -hmm. It'll ticker tape across the bottom here in a second, and then yeah. I'll, you know, like put it in the description too, so you can yeah. find our calendar online. Um, but yeah, so check out the calendar because we have been adding stuff all month, all month long. Yes, sock gnomes. That was supposed to happen this week, and we're rescheduling that. Is that class full? Do you know? I believe that class is full. Okay. However, if you're interested, I will say as a caveat to that class is full. If you are interested, let us know and mm -hmm. like we'll sort of create like a waiting list thing. Mm -hmm. And if there are many people on said waiting list, we could potentially do it again. Yeah. Um, you know, so just because the class is full doesn't mean don't tell us that you're interested in it. Because if, right. if folks tell us that we're interested in it, um, this is one of the things that's been on my mind a lot recently is your public library is a service to the community. Mm -hmm. So it's, the question is, what does the community want? Mm -hmm. So we yeah. do, rep, we try to represent all members of the community, um, but you know, like what does the community want? So tell us what you want so we can do those yes. things. Or I'm really interested in that program, but we ha there's a conflict or this doesn't right. work for our schedules. Have you thought about offering it at this day or at right. this time Absolutely. or whatever. And that's feedback that we appreciate and love to hear because it helps us create programs that are useful, that people will enjoy, and they're being offered at times that people right. most need them. Right, and that's um, the whole point yeah. of, the, of the public library is, this is your library, yeah. what can we do for you? Exactly, so, exactly. I love that. What else is happening? Oh my gosh, so much stuff is happening. We have all of our regular groups. There is a Friends of the Library board mm -hmm. meeting, okay. um, which anybody can join the Friends of the Library and come hang out and talk mm -hmm. about all the cool stuff that we wanna do for Friends yes. of the Library. That is on the 13th okay. at 6 p.m. That group meets upstairs in our genealogy room. Oh, okay. Typically. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, join the Friends of the Library. Come check that okay. out. Get some books, um, some crafts, meet, meet some authors on Saturday. It's going to be super fun. We have all the Christmassy holiday stuff coming up. There's crafts in the library like every day at this point there on are. the floor. There are, yeah. Right there in there the kids' are. section. There are. Every right? day we've got a craft going. We put it out generally on Monday afternoon and then it stays out through Friday. Um, so yes, there is always, lest you come in first thing Monday and I haven't had a chance to get it all out yet. Yeah. But generally there's a craft there every single day and it's welcome for anyone. You know, people have said, oh, is it just for kids? I was like, no. It is for whoever wants to do a craft. And the crafty thing, yeah. Incredibly relaxing Yeah. sometimes. It is, the little stamp markers that you had out, the little what do you call those? They, they're like the, you oh just, oh the paint dots. Paint dots. Thank yeah. you. I was I was struggling there. <laughs> but yeah, the, those so were fun. super fun. Yeah, 
I haven't put them away yet because the kids have had so much fun with them. They're it's fun. Like they really like them. Yeah. So, yeah, so, they've stayed out. Yeah, so come join us. Do a craft. Read a book. Find a movie. There's all kinds of great stuff at the yes. library. Come see us. Come see us. We're there. Yeah, like almost all the time. Yes. Yeah. Can't yeah. wait to see you. Fantastic. Have a good weekend. Bye. Thanks, guys.